As a Muslim, do you see Muhammad as a moral example? Yes, I do. Do you see him as the best moral example? Yes, I do. do you see him as the best man? Yes, I do. So when he married a nine-year-old child, is that an example to you? A nine-year-old, 1400 years ago, is nothing like a nine-year-old today. So this is there is no... I'm sorry, this, 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 this sister, sister, this is utter rubbish. Yes. Muhammad had sex with a nine-year-old child, was he right or wrong? Firstly... Let's just be the source yeah, of what the There we go, you see? Once the sources are an embarrassment <laughs> to them, they shut them away! That's true! What do you think should happen you. to gay people in Sharia law? Sharia law? Yes, what should happen to gay people? Here, that's, that's 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 oh, he's walking away. Do you believe the Shia or the Sunni Hadith? Shia or Sunni Hadith? from the worship of the one true God. It takes some away from sin. Let me tell you why you say this. No, no, no. It takes away from alcohol, told you. from drugs, from Christianity clothing, does that. from party. Alcoholics Anonymous was set up by Christians, not by Muslims. That's you, the only reason. You come out with nonsense like that. You no, don't know what you're talking about. It's the truth. Because you're still giving me a reason. You don't know what you're talking about. You're still giving me a reason. You, 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 you haven't even read the Bible. Have you? Have you? you haven't even read no, the Bible. I haven't read the Bible. I'm yeah. Yeah. So why are you trying to say what our faith does and doesn't do if you've never even read it? Did Jesus love gay people? And what you said was, what you said was, Jesus loved gay Are you saying that Christianity doesn't take people away from these sins? No. Is that what you're saying? Ask the question. Did Jesus love gay people? Jesus loves Muslims. They're sinners too. <laughs> Why are they sinners? Talk to me. Jesus Why? loves Muslims Why? and they're sinners Why? too. Why? <laughs> so, right, listen. Right. So, therefore humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in the proper time casting out your anxiety on him because he cares for you be of sober spirit be on the alert your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking yes Jesus loves gay people and he loves Muslims and they're both sinners Jesus loves gay people. Yes. You can't read that out to me anymore. That's it. Wait. Because you told me Jesus so you love gay people. So you What's don't love gay people. Are you, you saying you don't love gay people? people? I don't accept them. Are you a Muslim? Okay. I don't accept them. Are you a Muslim? Do you, do you, you love gay people? Do you love gay people? I don't accept them. Do you love gay people? You don't love them. Do you hate them? I don't hate them. You don't hate them. You will never. But you don't love them. You're ambivalent towards them. What do you think should happen to gay people in Sharia law? Sharia law. Yes. What should happen to gay people? Oh, he's walking away. Oh, he's walking away. What should happen to gay people in Sharia law? No, it's not a silly question. It's a perfectly valid question. What should happen to gay people in Sharia law? No, no, we can film. We can film here. Because they always bring this up. Don't push me. You're pushing me. You're pushing me. So, they always go in Islam. Don't get in discussion, bro. I mean, this week is called that. What should happen to gay people in Sharia law? So you accept it? What should happen to gay people in Sharia law? What? So you accept in your religion a kid to grow up with men and men? No, no, no. We are saying that we love the sinners, not the sin. We're saying we love the sinners. Not the sin. Listen. Not the sin. If you unplug your ears, right? Get rid of your ego and your attitude. Listen to what I'm saying. We Christians believe that sinners. So why do you have different Bibles? Should be loved. Why do you have different Bibles? Sinners like you. Why, why, why do you have different Bibles? Bibles? You mean like your different Qurans? We have different Quran. Which Quran do you believe in? Why the Hafs Quran, the Wash Quran, Quran or the Dori Quran? Quran? Yeah, but which one? Show me the other Quran. Show me the other Quran. Show me the other Quran. DCCI. DCCI. Show me the other Quran. 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 DCCI. 31 different Qurans. You've got four Bibles. Which Quran do you believe in? The Hafs, the Wash or the Dori? You're saying Jesus loves gay people. He's saying Jesus accepts gay people. He said Jesus already listen, confirmed listen, by Graham. He said Graham How said gay people are allowed, you are allowed in the church. How Graham denied that gay people. So he's lying. So he's lying. So he's lying. He's been caught on camera lying. I'll teach you about it by Graham. So don't come to one missionary and teach you about it. I am the one. You came to me. I confronted everybody. Sorry, sir. Are you trying to provoke me? He's trying to provoke me on camera. This is all. 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 This is
sorry, brother. You're the right. I'm a black belt. Should you lie? You just lied to someone. Oh, you're telling me you were violent. Get this on camera. We're talking about persecution of Christians. Get this on camera. Well done. This is the persecution of Christians. We're going to go in into the next video. Hey, what was he saying about Bob the Builder? So, tell me this book. Now go on, show me the book. Are you saying there isn't a Sharia law? No, I'm saying there's no Sharia law. Show me the book. There's multiple books on Sharia law. Well, you've got lots of the different legal schools. They pass legal judgments. I don't want to know about legal, about school jurisprudence. Am I mistaken? Oh, yeah. yes. builder, so I, there isn't I, a thing called Sharia no, law? that's not what I said. Oh, well, correct me then. What, what is there? Builder. Can I ask you something, sir? Let me no, one question. I'm going to go. One no, no. minute, I'm going to go. One minute. OK, one question. Then no, I'm going to go. One minute. Oh, no, no, no. no. Wait, wait, wait. You're just making a point. No, I don't. Then I'll no, no. talk to him. Listen, I'm asking you to show right. me. You want to talk about Sharia law? OK, also. I don't have the book to show you. Now because tell me. There is one. Right, is there, there is such a thing as Sharia law? Yes. There is. Yes. So I when I talk about Sharia law, I am valid in speaking about no, Sharia. You're not as a person. Why? Right. You, right. you are not educated enough or an expert in Sharia law. Are you? Neither am I, no. Are, 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 are the Muslims here? No. So do you go around telling the Muslims they shouldn't be speaking on Sharia law? If, so, if someone was to make a stupid comment like you did earlier, yeah, I would. I, 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 I would like to see that. I really would. Right. Come on, he's talking about Sharia law. You're the only one. <laughs> You're the only one that so comes here to this bar all the time. So no, Sharia law says this. What does, Sharia law says that. What does Sharia law say about homosexuals? Don't worry. What should you happen? Not, me and you are not educated enough to talk about Sharia law. What does Sharia law say? What Sharia law say about homosexuals? Neither of us have Sharia law say about homosexuals. Listen to the Tell us. Is it your business? What does it say? Do you have Sharia law here? Why are you so scared of Sharia law? Stop because it's a bad idea. Do you recognize it's a bad idea? You have the law of God. If you think it's going to happen, that means you're scared. Are you denying the law of God? No. Are you denying the law of God? If you have faith in God, danger. then that means you shouldn't be so scared. Subhanallah. So what are you denying the law of God? Show some respect, respect to the brother. Come on, man. Let me... What are your sources? His own hemorrhages. own hemorrhages. I'm asking, what does it say? What does it say? What should happen to homosexuals? Neither me nor you. That's what I'm saying. We know. All this building. All not educated. Neither am I. Wait, wait. If you're saying, well, I'm not recording. Talk about what the problem is being So what you're saying is, I'm wrong, but you aren't in a position to tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, and I admit that. Right. Get that logic. I'm wrong, but he's not in a position to tell me. I can tell someone they're wrong. And say, but I'm not. So I'm not educated enough to correct I, I you. propose a premise to you that in Sharia law it says homosexuals say should that. be killed. Where You're say saying that? it doesn't. It says tuck up for the tallest building. Huh? Tuck up for the tallest mountain or something like that. Yeah, or the building. Like the shard. So, uh, I take it obviously. I take Listen, let, me, let me explain to you the Sharia law. Like, yeah, yeah, go on, tell us. You have to study <laughs> Islam, the religion. Yeah. Years and years before yeah, you can yeah. make rulings on yeah. what that is and isn't considered authentic and sure. And the fact that those rulings are contradictory, does that not trouble you? It's different. You understand? Like, you're educated enough by Islam to know there's four main schools in Sunni Islam, yeah? And, and there's five that are in Sharia. He's the new man. Not of you, my friend. Not of me. When not of you, law. my friend. Of Sharia law. Sharia law needs to go in the dustbin. Because we shout out the shout out. We're going to shout out here now. So yes. well, fuck Sharia law. Yeah. Your words. Oh no. Oh no. Your oh, no. words. When you oh, say. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Nah, I'm not going to give a fuck. He's going to get 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 a fuck. So, like yeah, so, like so, so, when you say oh, right. Sharia law says I'm to kill like gays and jump from the tallest building, yes. yeah. if some scholar somewhere in history, Islam has been around 400 years, may have said that, but I mean, I agree with it. Fine, I mean, that's fine, we've got a good punch. Tell with me it. this, tell me this. Oh, no. Does it not trouble <laughs> you that Muslim scholars 
using multiple uh, sources are arguing contradictory positions. You've got some Muslim scholars saying that if you're apostatized from Islam, the punishment should be left to the next world and not be punished in this world. And you've got some Muslim scholars arguing that apostates should be killed in this world. They're both using the same sources and they're coming to different conclusions. Is that not problematic? Because God gave us something called an internet. Yeah? So I can look at what all scholars said. I can look at what all scholars said and go, not this sort of doesn't make sense. I'm not on the discharge. Another scholar might contradict what he said, but because his his sources are behind where he's made his judgment make sense. Because they're not really using the same sources. So it all boils down. Rather than it being a perfected religion that's revealed by Allah, I agree with you. It's not. The religion is perfect. The people. But the point is, but that's the point. That's the point. This is supposed to support it. The Quran says that on this day I have perfected your religion for you, Islam. But if Islam, looking at multiple topics, comes out with totally contradictory conclusions, like whether you should kill apostates or not, that means that Islam isn't clear. It's not clear guidance. And yet you're telling us that we have to believe this religion. We've got something better. That's not what I said. I I talk about the religion is perfect. Okay. One of those the religions. scholars. Which one? The Shia version or the Sunni version? Oh, you want to get into that? Can you allow me to I'm just pointing out. No, no, order is DW. What about you? Right, well, uh, just clarifying terms. Just, you're just you're clarifying terms. Now you're just being. You're just being argumentative for the sake of being argumentative. You're just being argumentative for the sake of being argumentative. I just want to know how a Christian can talk about the religion is perfect. Islam is perfect. The prophet is perfect. Allah, God, is perfect. But the scholars that practice the religion and speak the religion are not. Perfect. They do miss the so, 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 so one scholar saying that we should chuck the gates of the highest building. That's a mistake on his part. He's not making a mistake on religion. What criterion are you using to say that he's making a mistake? Well, I haven't studied the sources myself. I can't say whether that's the point that I'm I'm pushing on you. Okay. No, hold on one second. No, no, no. I heard your point. If I came back a week, if I if I said to you, okay, next Sunday, same time, I'll go now. I'll study the sources for a week and come back. I can probably tell you what I'm saying. Right. So hold on one second. I don't have the time to do that. I'm sure neither do you. One second, bro. Because the thing is, you've got Muslim scholars. Who are all using the same sources and coming they're out with contradictory answers? Same sources, are they? Yeah, they're using the hadiths and they're using the Quran, and they're coming yeah. to different conclusions. Not all hadith are authentic. So what you're saying is Muslim scholars can't decide which hadith are authentic or not? No, that's basically they are whole, they, they spend their whole life doing. Right. So what we've got is a corpus of literature called hadith that Muslims themselves can't agree upon as which ones are reliable or not, and that is the reason why they're coming to different conclusions. I love how you do this. You, you take what I say and you twist it. To well, well if, I, if I was wrong, because explain I, why I was wrong. What I said. So we, what did you say? know. So you know about Sahih Bukhari and Dhamidhi and all that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we can look at those. Well, they're authentic until they're embarrassing, and then Muslims say they're not authentic. But go on. You just thought that's why that's why that's why No, you're just being argumentative. Not the it's arbitrarily it. Okay, anyway. So we can look at those and say these are offensive, but that could there could have been mistakes in those books, or the scholars may have made a mistake looking at the hadith. They may have looked at a hadith that is not as authentic as others. I don't know that because I haven't studied it in detail. You know, brother, this this fog that you have is, is what just stops you from seeing the truth. Because God, don't tell me, God. If, if you actually think about what you're saying. What you've got is a corpus of literature that Muslims themselves can't agree on. They don't know which ones are trustworthy, and then they're trying to say that you can base judgments on these hadiths. But because they don't agree about which ones are trustworthy, they come to different conclusions. Who doesn't agree? You go speak to the, the scholars who are in the West, and they will say to you that apostates from Islam shouldn't be killed, and that punishment is reserved to the next life. You go and ask the scholars who are living in Saudi Arabia and they will say that apostates from Islam should be killed. So are we saying that... You say that people can't make mistakes. 
I'm saying that Islam is what Muslims want it to be from one generation to the next. Incorrect. And from one political situation to the next. When they're a tiny minority, it's all about love and tolerance and getting along. When they're a majority, it's all about you're sorry. a dirty kufra and a mushrek sorry, and a polytheist and Park, will oppress the you. The massacre in Finsbury Park a couple of years ago, who was it that helped those people when else someone was going to kill them? Muslims. Yeah. And? So you say Christians it's, help people it's all not the time. about love and tolerance. What was that? What were they showing there? What about the Christians in Egypt who have their churches bombed, their priests stabbed, their businesses stoned? What about the fact that in Saudi Arabia an Arab citizen cannot be a Christian? Yeah, shall we do the what about isms? So in Saudi Arabia, a place where Islam has dominated for 1400 years unchallenged by anyone. Okay? It is illegal for a Saudi Arabian citizen to become a Christian. Do you agree with this or not? Me personally? Yes. No. Right. And do you agree? Good for you. Yeah? You're, you're a good man, right? right? You can stop with the patronizing. But your scholars would say that you my are scholars. not. scholars? Yeah? Who are my scholars? I Muslim would imagine scholars. Muslim scholars. No, who? Go on, name my scholars. Oh, I apologize. Do you not follow the Alam? Do you not agree I don't with know what Alam you're talking about. So you, you're select, you have a, a, a particular ulama that you follow vis-a-vis -a, -vis a particular ulama that you don't follow? I didn't say that. Wait, that sounds like what you're saying. Quran is only Are you a Quranist only? Are you a Quranist only? Quranist only? No, I'm not, I'm not a Quranist. So what I'm saying is, do you, you have any scholars you're you You're generalising my beliefs so that I follow whatever any scholar says. Well, name me one scholar you do follow. Uh, well, it depends what you're talking about, because different scholars have different specialties. Okay, name me a scholar that you do follow. Give yeah, it in what specialty? Anyone you like. Um, Al Albani. Al Albani. Yeah. Uh, now tell me a, a judgment that Al Albani is. Uh, so it's, it's all right to vote. It's all right to vote. Yeah. Do you think that I can find scholars that will say that it's not all right to vote? Maybe, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah. Okay. Right. So now let me ask you this question. If you've got two Muslim scholars using Quran and Hadith, on what basis can you say that one scholar is right and another scholar is wrong? If you're saying that you're ignorant, because you're saying you're ignorant and you can't talk about this, but you have two scholars who are not ignorant, who are contradicting one another, so how can you say one is right and the other is wrong? No, you lost me, say it again. Right, so here's the question. Here's your, here's your, here's your problem, your logical problem. Go on, right. Go on explain it to me. Then. You have said at the beginning of this conversation yeah, that I am not educated enough. That you are not educated enough. Yes. And I agree you can find a scholar in Islam that says it's okay to vote. Yeah. And I am certain that I can find a scholar in Islam that says that it isn't okay to vote. Yeah, you probably yeah. So if we have two scholars who are not ignorant, who are both using the Quran and the Hadiths, but coming to completely contradictory... They might be using different... Well, let me finish. Coming to completely contradictory answers. How can you decide who is right amongst them? Well, by looking at what what, leader, what sources they follow, what their beliefs are, that kind of But that thing. means that then you're in a position to judge the scholars on their use of the material, which would mean that you're now above your scholars. In what way would that mean above my scholars? Because you've just said, if I have to make a judgment between scholar A who says X and scholar B who says Z, and these two scholars are using the same sources, and the way I can judge between them I see what you're saying. is that I look at the sources and I make a judgment about who's right and wrong. You're then saying that you're the scholar. Okay. So in so in Islam, yeah, we believe that God gave us insight. We have the ability to critically analyse and say and look at what people have said. We have that ability. God has given that ability, given us that ability to critically analyse different pieces and come to decisions. So if I were to look at what this scholar has said and say, no, that's wrong because of this, this and this, that's fine. I don't know if you had that in Christianity. No, no, can I give you, so we got you something just follow better. people blindly. No, 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 I'll give you something better. In the Christian faith, it says that you should work out your salvation with fear and trembling. So the use of one's own reason is preeminent. And what it says is that to keep the law of God, what we need to do is to love, pure and simple. And he who loves will keep the whole of the law. All of it. So much simpler than having to decide about which opinion is right and which hadith is correct and which one is trustworthy. Aim your heart at love. Aim your heart at love. It you like see, some you laugh. Ass shit. Yeah, yeah it, it, it sounds like hippie ass shit, but the hippies got it all wrong. <laughs> totally wrong. 
aim your heart at love and in all of your situations in all of your circumstances try to do unto others that which you would have done unto you yeah if you go about doing that you will live a good life or an approximation of a good life certainly a better life than if you follow blindly the example of Muhammad which because in my experience of talking to Muslims whenever Muhammad is an embarrassment to them they say we don't believe that source and that hadith. I don't think he's ever been an embarrassment to me. Do you believe in having sex with nine-year-old children? Do you want to get into this now? Yes. Do you? Do you? Do you? Me personally? Yes. I personally wouldn't. Did Muhammad have sex with a nine-year-old child? But all the girls here having sex uh, when they're 11, 10, they're no, getting that's, pregnant. That's different. We can't. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. Yeah, no, yes, yeah, look, yeah, it's the it failure, it's the failure yeah. of Western liberalism, yeah. not Christianity. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the failure of Western no, liberalism, not Christianity. Yeah, it's going to bother. You're going to get into that. So, Muhammad had sex with a nine-year-old child. Was he right or wrong? Firstly, Let's just be the sources, yeah, the wish, the there we go. You see, know. once the sources are an embarrassment <laughs> to them, they ship true. them away. That's true. No, it's not Sahih al Bukhari. It's Sahih. It's Sahih. 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 No, but it needs to be said. It needs to be said that the sources do dispute her age. Give me a source that says she was older. Can I finish? If we take the source that she was nine, which is fine for the purpose of this argument, we can. Yeah, right, said, let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fine. Just, just for the disclaimer for the camera, so, just for the sake of this argument, we're saying she was nine. She was nine. But, disclaimer, and there are disputing sources. No, 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 let's be clear. Actually, there are sources that Muslims construct an argument from that she was older. Um, uh, there are sources that but say they she don't, was older. They, they, no, they don't say she was older. But no, for the purpose of this conversation, let's just say she was nine. Right, so do you agree with that? So when did, when did they actually... <laughs> do you leave? On, 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 on it wasn't when she was nine. nine. No, it, it is when she was nine. It says they consummated the marriage when she was nine. They got married when they were nine. They consummated at no. twelve. Mar get married at six. Again, I, I have consummated at nine. Right. Let's just say she, they consummated at nine. Do you agree with it? It's not if I agree with it. It's my religion. It's the religion. Yeah, it's, it's God. Do you agree with it? It's God. So it's an example to you then? You should do it too. Or you can do it. Not that you should do it, but you can do it. Ask me, ask me a question. So, when, do, when girls get their periods, yeah, when they start getting their periods, what does that mean? It doesn't mean they're ready to breed. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. And that just shows me how ignorant you are of child development. The fact that a child might have menstruation early does not mean that they are now physically to bear children. You're arguing essentially that because a woman bleeds, she can breed, and that is terrible. No, that's... It's terrible. <laughs> All I asked you was... You said, you said, if, if a child has a period, what does that mean? And I said, it does not mean they, they can have children. And then you said, yes, it but does. They are ready. Sorry. They, they can't they can, a child, a yeah. child. Who, no, but I mean, biologically, if you take out conditioning and everything, when somebody starts to menstruate, that means that they're able to have children. children. Women. I'm a doctor. So. Yeah. Well, I've unfortunately, if if, if, a, if a child, you, if you're a doctor, now be honest. When a child first starts to bleed in menstruation, is there always a It wasn't her first menstruation. Generally, but we won't say it's the rule, but, but even adult women might not always have an egg with it. And are you saying that physically and mentally a child... I mentally. I no, mentally. you're a GP now and you're on camera. You just said you're a doctor. So you are a doctor no, or you aren't a doctor? <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> so, as a doctor, your professional opinion counts for something. Are you... I, all I'm saying is biologically, if you look at the history of... Are you a dentist? Yes. So no, you're not. All oh, right. So you try to pass yeah. yourself off as a doctor. It's a medical degree. Your, your, your dentistry. I have a doctorate. It's not a doctor. So it's a doctorate. what? Right. It's on a what? Degree. What on what? I have studied everything. You've studied everything. Yeah. Good. So you can answer this question. Probably. Right. So are you stood here now saying that because a child has her first period, that she is mentally and physically able to have children? I'm asking you. You're not saying that. So now tell him that. But he did didn't say that either. No, he did. Did you say? I don't, you know, I don't know what I said. He's putting words in my mouth. Yeah, you're, no, you're both. You're I mean, do you know what? The thing is, I agreed with a lot of what you said. <laughs> but physically, biologically, that is the history of evolution of human beings. When a person starts to menstruate, that means they are then able to 
have a child physically. I think, but that I doesn't think mean they're emotionally That doesn't mean they're emotionally ready. Mentally and emotionally. That's and not also not physically ready because there are many examples of children there who have many, become look, pregnant whose hips have not yet developed wide enough to bear yeah, course, children. But Thank you. But there's also very many examples of adult women who have the same thing. Not every adult so woman who has her period has an egg that's released every month. A lot huh? of women don't have periods at all. A lot of children probably Offended. don't have eggs when they have periods. But Deeper. generally, the, that's what a period is. Right? If we are, if we three are all agreed. That an, uh, uh, if we three are all agreed that at nine years old someone doesn't have the mental, physical capacity to bear children, then my argument is sound. You see, again, Unless you, you want to stand here and I say a nine-year-old can. I think the argument, to be honest, would be about the age, not about... That is the argument. argument. He's using the defense of menstruation. The argument is that the sources say she was nine. Many sources say other things too. There's are you Muslim, I Other sources say she was 14. Yes. Yeah, you are a Muslim. Yeah, yeah. So, for full disclosure, a, a, a Muslim medical doctor, do you agree or disagree that a nine year old can have a child? Physically, biologically, and many nine-year-olds probably can have a child, yes. So, so they you... They have been throughout history, had children. So, you, well, I, I would dispute that you could evidence that, actually. I can find you... I can dispute years, that you could evidence. Years it's not about age. Yes, I'd like to girl. see your evidence that there's lots of nine-year-old kids that have had children so in this country. So why are you children nine years old? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I'm absolutely serious. I, I can give you examples even on, this then. year, probably. I can Google it right now. There are kids okay. who have had Go and Google been raped it. and then they have children. Google me a nine-year-old child that's had a baby. That's the argument. And then, and then ask the me... Point of that? Here's so, the point. Yeah, so here's the point. Here's the point. Because Muslims argue... Here's the point. Here's the point. I know that. I know that they can. I'm not disputing the ability. What I'm saying is that here's the problem. Muslims try to say that Muhammad is a moral example, which if he is a moral example, the best moral example, then you have no justification to say that nine-year-old children should not have children. No, no, I... So the argument is void. What, what's void, sorry? A nine-year-old, fourteen hundred years ago, is nothing like a nine-year-old today. So the point there is no. Other, I'm sorry. This, 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 this sister, sister. This is utter rubbish. This argument that there's been some evolutionary leap in the last fourteen hundred years is absolutely, absolutely rubbish. It's a scientific fact. Exactly. No, friends. At the end of the day, right? It is. It is absolute rubbish. Because if your argument. Here's why, here's why it's rubbish, because the climate of Saudi Arabia is still the same today as it was 1400 years ago. If anything, it's got hotter. So if your argument stands for then, it should also work now. But it doesn't, does it? You've just said, you've just said that 1400 years ago, people used to develop quicker. Why? What's changed about our biology? No, it's mentally we are we are maturing at a later stage in our in our age, which, which is true. Right. Because of the advent of smartphones, so you're saying games, stuff like so you're that. saying that a nine-year-old child had the mental capacity to understand what a marriage was. Exactly. That's what that you're saying. Years ago. How can I say that? Even their body, even their body was nothing like the nine-year-old today. So you can't when when boys. when did Muhammad get engaged? So boys, when when the hadith say she was six. Are you telling me that a six-year-old child understands the concept of marriage? I'm a, I'm a Muslim. You know, we all have a different... But I would say there's another hadith where she claimed herself in one hadith she is 14. At the same time, none other hadith, hadith she says she is 16. There was no year's calculation at the time she was. The year start calculating in the time of Khalifa was Hazrat Umar. There was no way to calculate the year. You can check. Go ahead, Google it. In the Arab, when they start calculating the years, there was no way to figure out how old somebody or anybody was. Even Muhammad. If you look at it in some of the hadith, he will say 60, other one will say 65. But if you're against something, you will pick up, oh, she said she was nine. Because you let, hate let's just everything it. about it. It's let's not just, about the let, let's issue. Just, of, let me address you. Let, let me finish now. Let okay. me finish here. 
now in this country, the women, the girls were getting married when they were 9, 10, 11, 12. Nobody discussed that. Only. But when it comes to that, to Muhammad, because you have against him something, so you will say, okay, 6, 9. Why don't you read another hadith where he says he was 14 or 18? 13, 14. All the girls point. were getting married. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me finish it. Okay, because so is, girls, is this your final point? This is my final point. Because the, the life expectancy was 30s, 35, 36. The girls were dead. The guys were dead in 30s. Nobody was living after that. Go ahead and check this out. This so now, if you have to have a children, no, let, let me address your point. Your, your, your point is essentially that we couldn't calculate the age, and there are other hadiths that say she was different ages. Yes. One second. I have never ever seen these hadiths be produced, and this is an argument that's been gone on. Yes, 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 I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So, no, 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 hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Let's hold on one second. Right? So your argument okay. is that 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 we can't know her age. Yes, for fact. The hadiths give contradictory ages. Yeah, and the hadith is not a word of Quran. How can we trust a source like the hadith if they are okay, contradictory? So my, okay, so this is the okay, so but, a, but the point let is, me, let me finish something. But the point is, let me finish something. But Islam is dependent upon the use of hadith. No, it's not. It's are you a Quran only Muslim? I'm not saying I'm a Quran only Muslim. Do you even know what a Quran only Muslim is? Let me let me let me say something. Okay, right. No, no, so are me. you a Quran only? No, 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 no. I'm not. Or do you let use? Me, let me let me let me say something here. I'm, I'm talking here. What's the Quranza? Yeah. Let me say something. Do you use hadiths? Yes, I do. I know you do. Do you? Okay, so but you do use hadith. Okay. So hadiths, hadiths are important. So if your hadiths are contradictory, how can you trust them? Why your forefather was getting married with nine? Oh, that's a fair question. Let me do it. No, it's not. It's the same thing. If your grandparents. I just said you've given a fair question. Let me answer it. But I haven't finished the other part. What you were asking her? For me, I was asking her, not you. Are you answering her? She's in my niece. Okay. Fair okay. So uh, the way I do believe, if any hadith contradict the Quran. I do not believe that. Because for me to believe the word of God is Quran. Uh, uh, so Furqan, how I can judge something is right or something is wrong. Now hadith is being said for different people, just like your Bible, what you believe in Bible. I do not believe in Bible, there's some words of God are in there. But do I have to believe all of them? No, I don't. So the same way those words are being brought to us by different people. If anything contradicts with Quran, I don't have to believe it. Because Quran is the word who's going to judge them. Okay, so, that's so you said that if anything contradicts the Quran, you don't have to believe it. No, that's your criterion for And then using Quran the tells you what is the age so, of one second. To marriage. So one second. You right. Well, I, firstly, uh, to my knowledge, it doesn't say anywhere in the Quran what the actual age of marriage is. It says is, is when... Okay, I'm say, no, 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 hold on. No, no, that is no, a lie. No, you keep interrupting. No, because you say it you doesn't keep say anywhere. Oh, no, you keep interrupting. No, you no, want no, people... No, no. It's you always the same. Yeah. You want people to shut up when you speak, but then when someone else speaks, you feel free to interrupt. So let's be clear. Let's be clear. Your hadiths are contradictory. They give contradictory answers to the to same Let's information. Go back to said there's nothing in you Quran. use the hadiths to interpret the Quran. If the hadiths are not a trustworthy source, if the Quran, you just said you did. You just said you don't do it as much. Yes, you do. Okay, show me how you pray salat from the Quran without you using the Quran. Let's not go off the subject. No, 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 no. Hold on. You can't just. You're not just going to jump in and say, okay. answer this, answer this, answer this. Okay. Uh, no, no. Tell me. Tell wait, wait, wait. Okay. No, you interrupted me. So okay, you said at this you point, asked me a question. Let no, me at this point, it. at this point, because you've interrupted me, I don't need you now how we not to interrupt you. If you want people to listen, you have to pay them the courtesy of listening, which means that you have to actually start it. Like I was listening to you when you were talking. Do you, you remember that bit? No, Do you remember no. a couple of minutes ago when I wasn't right. talking and you were talking? Do you remember? No, you don't. It's all right. You're not the first guy I've met here today with small memory problems. Anyway, as I was saying, Muslims use the hadiths to understand how to practice Islam because the Quran gives an outline, but it doesn't give the detail. 
the hadiths is what gives you the detail. Example, the use of Salah and how you pray Salah. Are you an expert on Islam or Islam is representing Islam side? One second, here you are interrupting again. Because if I have, if I'm here to listen to you, Islamic perspective. The fact of the matter is, those hadiths contradict one another. They aren't trustworthy sources and Muslims can't agree upon them. I say, I just told you my point of view is, now again, you lied about the Quran where it doesn't mention about the marriage. Okay, so let me say something. Show me. Let me, I'm going to tell you something. So now, if, okay. According to the Quran, the Quran says, yeah. the Quran says, the first, there's two standards. And then they both have to meet yes. to, for girls to marry. The first one is the period. The second one is when she can make a decision about her property. Where does it say that in the Quran? Okay, now I cannot produce it, but it doesn't go All right, away. We'll just assume okay, now this is all we'll the recording. We'll okay, so we'll now there's we'll a no better way. The Islam, right. is the the way. The Islam is the best teacher. Period and mental capacity. Capacity who can make the decision about her property. Right, fine. So it's been, it's Aisha magic. was six years old when she Again, was married. Oh, man. Come on, you're not agree. See, man, you, you don't, don't agree because no, it embarrasses no, you and quoting Hadith. There's four different Again, again, show me the Quran. Go on, show me them. You know. You know Show what, if you are here only because you're against something, that doesn't no, make I'm you a point of something. Again, you ask me a question. The conversation start with him asking no, no, me I a know. question. You ask me a question, if it, there's a, in Quran there's no mention about the marriage. What does it say? It's, it's two things. Yeah, it says it here. Look, I'll show you what it says in the Quran about marriage. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I need the Quran. Yeah. This is not Where a Quran. This is a translation. I agree with you. Without it's Arab. not a Quran. Yeah. Islam is not a religion for anyone other than Arabs. Yeah. Don't buy the sale. Thank you, thank you, my right, God. That's not the like Quran because it's not in Arabic, yeah? yeah it's not in Arabic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arabic has to be with it. You know, oh, this, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is what the Quran says about marriage. Are you listening? Oh, oh, Talking yeah. about divorce. After 15 minutes of fame, it's fine. Stay, go on, go on. Talk, talk, talk. So this is, this is what it says. This is what it says in their book. This is what it says in their book. But because they find it embarrassing, they don't want to listen. It says, so this is talking about divorce. Okay. Now, obviously, if you're divorcing someone, logically, what are you, bro? If you're divorcing someone, what are it's you? About consent. You're married. You're, you're married. It's about consent. It's a free space. <laughs> I agree, marriage is about it's consent. About consent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. About so, consent. you're married. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So, such of your women, yeah. this is about how long you wait before you remarry someone who's divorced. Ah, okay, okay. That's important. Listen. Okay? Such of your women as have passed the age of monthly courses, for them, the prescribed period, if you have any doubts, any doubts about what? The tasfiyah and the hadith are clear. It's doubts about whether they're pregnant. If you have any doubts, is three months for those who have no courses for those who carry life within their wombs their period is until they deliver their burdens for those who have no courses is referring to those who have not yet reached the age of menstruation that is children children Sorry? Yes. But it also means children as well. Because, here's why we know, here's why we know, here's why we know, yeah, because, because Muhammad himself, your best example, married a six year old and had sex when they were nine. You don't believe me? I'll show you. In the hadiths, Sahih al-Bukhari 762, narrated by Aisha, that the Prophet married her when she was six years old and he consummated his marriage when she was nine years old. Hisham said, I have been informed that Aisha remained with the Prophet for nine years till his death. So in that hadith, Aisha is giving her age at what point Muhammad consummated the marriage with her. Other translations of this verse by other scholars, other Muslim scholars, don't translate it in this way. The way they translate it is those who have not yet reached the age of menstruation. This one doesn't, this one doesn't. 
but other translators do, and we have the example of the hadiths as well. Are you fluent in Arabic? Are you? No, I'm asking you. Are you no, I'm not. Arabic? Are you? So how could you know the translation? Right. Are you fluent in Arabic? Are you? Are you? Are you? I asked you that question. Yes, and I've answered that. So and now I'm asking you, are you fluent in Arabic? Are you fluent in Arabic? Right. So. Your, your argument is, because I'm not fluent in Arabic, I can't make this argument. No, that's what I said. How do you know the translation? Of How do you know? Well, Yosef Abdullah Ya'ali was a linguist. Yusuf. Yusuf Ali, he was a linguist. So he was someone who was fluent in Arabic. And he translated it into English. So I'm using a Muslim linguist who translated the Arabic Quran. So I think that's valid. It doesn't say, I've never argued that it says what? child. You just said some of the other translations say child. No, it says, the, it, other translations say those that have not yet ye reached the age of menstruation. So you get that? So, so tell me, if, hey, give me a if someone has not reached the age of menstruation, what are they? Well, some women don't have it at all, so what's the point? No, 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 no. If someone hasn't reached the age of menstruation, okay, but some women don't some have it. Some people could not get menstruation. Is it? Yeah, is. Is it? Is, it is. Is, is that based on what? Sorry, what is that based on? Where does it say that? You, what did you ask? What, right. did, what was your question? For those who have no courses, yes. it is the same. Okay. Yeah? For those who and have like no said, courses, does that like include said, children? Well, like I said, some women don't have periods at all. But some do children women have, have courses? one to 18 or above. Do children have courses? Uh, I'm sure some do. Well, Aisha clearly did at nine. So at nine. Yeah. Well, well, my point is that, that this is not a moral example really? that we need to follow. Well, up until 1929 in the UK, a yeah. female could get married at the age of 12. So your argument so, to defend Muhammad yeah. is to reference a kufar this, society. No, I'm using it against you. You live in this country. I'm, I'm happy to you, disagree you with country. what people did in you the past. You live in this country? Yeah, I do. Is this a Christian country? No. Well, it is. A, well, According to you, maybe, but not to me. Well, to a lot of people it is. The church they, is they would be wrong. The church is part of parliament. It is, it is, there is an established church, yes. Exactly. Yeah. And up until 1929, female could get married at the age of 12. Yes. So now you're complaining about Muhammad. A thousand years before that, yeah. marrying the line Yeah, yes, absolutely I am. And here's why. I'm going to explain. Here's why. Because what we know about childhood development today yeah, shows us that nine-year-olds are not mentally and physically able to bear children You're talking about study here? and the burden. Yes, there are studies. Okay, among the yeah. studies, right? Yeah, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Right? This learning is accepted universally. Right around the world, societies are not decreasing the age of consent, they are increasing the age of consent. That is the direction of every civilization, everywhere. So you would admit... But hold on one second, you asked me the question, why I've got a problem? Why have I got a problem? Not, if it was just the case that Muhammad did this in the past and Muhammad was not an example for today, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Because there were kings in England that have also married children. But I don't see them as a moral example. As a Muslim, do you see Muhammad as a moral example? Yes, I do. Do you see him as the best moral example? Yes, do. do you see him as the best man? Yes, I do. So when he married a nine-year-old child, is that an example to you? No, because there were rules along with it. The parents needed to consent, no. and she needed to consent no. as well. So if when did she consent? When they approached her for marriage. And how old was she? Seven or eight. So you're trying to say that a seven or eight year old had the intellect no, bro. It's just rubbish. Children. No, not, you didn't ask my previous question. In 1,400 years ago, was it customary for young girls to get married? Yes 1,400 years ago, it was customary to sacrifice people on altars to false gods. We don't do it today. Okay. 1400 years ago, it was customary to marry children. We know better today. Okay, the Christians here 1400 years ago. Christians, oh, that's a good question actually. So, even before the rise of Islam, in a time when Christians were still marrying children, we raised the age of consent from the age of 12 to the age of 14. Yes, in Which means, no, in the 5th century. In the 5th century. No, I'm talking about Christians in the 5th century. Two centuries, two centuries before Muhammad came along, even Christians understood that a 12-year-old was too young. 
but your prophet, who you have said is a moral example to you today, engaged a child at six and had sex with her at nine. Is that an example to you? I've already explained there are rules along with it. So the parents need to consent to it. She needs to be ready and she needs to consent for herself. How would is you, a six? Wait, and would you would consent she, to that? Hmm? Would you consent to that? If I had a daughter? Yes. Yeah. No, would you? Would. Why? Because why not? Because in this day and age, a girl of that age would what, what, Biologically, what has changed? Even if you was back in that time? 1,400 years ago, I don't know. I Biologically, been, what's changed? Really? His argument is that something changed 1,400 years ago. <laughs> Genetically, what has changed? Human beings are the same. A child at six, 1,400 years ago, is genetically right. the same as a child today. So are you saying this is a beautiful country? I am saying, saying this country I am saying Britain, I, yeah, I'm going to answer the question, but then I want you to answer my question. Okay, answer your question. Is Britain a paedophile country? It was in the past. But we don't look at those past generations and say that they are moral examples right. today. Now let me ask you a question, okay? Aisha married, uh, Aisha agreed to the marriage at six years old. According to some sources. According to some Islamic sources. Are you honestly stood here right now and telling me that a six-year-old has the mental capacity to understand what she's agreeing to? I wasn't present, so I don't know. The lifespan of people used to be about 30 years old. Six. 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 Do you want me to read the hadith again? <laughs> I'm having the conversation again. Like, what was back then, 1,400 years ago? Well, it was, it's averaged out at 30, but do you exactly, know why? Exactly. Do you know why? Well, war, it's not for any genetic reasons. The reason why the average lifespan was shorter in those days was because we were fighting and killing and diets were terrible. Okay, so now let me respond to that. So somebody, Nothing okay, genetic. So someone who was 10, 1,400 years ago, today is the equivalent of a 20 or 30 years ago. That just doesn't follow logically. Yes, it does. No, it yes, doesn't. It does. No, it does. doesn't. Yes, it does. Yes, no, it does. Yes, it does not. Yes, it does. No, it does not. So if we use the example of you're the day saying, back then, you're saying people that, would only be married You're for saying that because people years. died earlier because of wars and poor diets, yes, that that means that mentally they were more developed. That does not follow at all. That is no, not a logical not argument. That's that. that exactly what you said. So, we've agreed. We've a man marries someone of his own age. Yeah. He's always younger. Okay. I've, 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 got a, I've got another. I've got a question for you. You've agreed that Muhammad is not an example for you today on the issue of on, on the issue of marrying children. She wasn't a child back then. She wasn't a child. She wasn't viewed as a child. She wasn't viewed. I agree she wasn't viewed as a child. But the fact that she wasn't viewed as a child does not mean that she is suddenly an adult. For 1,400 years ago, there were no legal age requirements. There are still people today. Yeah, go on. Because females used to mature at different. No, 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 no. No, I'm saying shit. Every, it is every, yeah. every woman is talking about shit. Every woman is different. Some women have menstruation. Yeah, but just because you have a menstrual cycle at the age of eight Hello. doesn't mean that you're able to have okay, sexual relations. Okay, so 1,400 years ago. And mentally bear the responsibility yeah. okay, so of raising children. 1,400 years ago, yeah. people would take that as an indication that a girl had turned Can I ask you a question? Did Muhammad bear any children? Did Aisha bear any children to Muhammad? Do you know what? Like, did she get pregnant? I believe that she did. Yeah? Like, the, 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 do you know that there is a hadith that says that, Ma, that Aisha lost her hair? Like, there is. There is a hadith that yeah, talks about when she was still playing with toys. She was, Can she I was, uh, I might do, but it takes time. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to see a source, but I've never heard that. Before. Yeah, well, you need to go away and do some research because... Well, no, because I've never heard anyone, even uh, Christians, mention that argument before. So, you're going to have to provide a source for me to answer that. I, I, I will see if I can find that source. I will see if I can find that source. However, do a thought experiment with me. There's a hadith that talks about the fact that Muhammad came to the house of Aisha when she was playing with dolls and her mother brought her into the house and she knew she was getting married. Okay? And she then lost her hair and Muhammad waited. I can't respond until I this Yeah, that's fine. You, I'm asking you to do a thought experiment. I can't do that. You can't do a thought experiment? Until I see this Fair enough. Well, we'll just stick with the hadith that we have got then. We'll just stick with the hadith that we have got. We have got hadiths that say that she was engaged at six and consummated the marriage at nine. 
Okay? You're trying to tell me that a six-year-old child had the mental capacity to understand what marriage was. An abstract there's social contract. Okay, there's evidence to support that. That Go means on, that you agree with the person. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And that's what, and that's what, that's what this example does to you. You're defending child marriage. I have a question for you. I have it. You are. I said she wasn't a child. At six. At nine. At six. At nine. At nine. That's when they have sex. No, at nine. Nice. When was she engaged? You said, you said. What was your question? Brother, she didn't have the mental capacity. No, I'm saying she didn't have the mental capacity. I am saying that you're arguing that a six-year-old had the look, mental look, 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 capacity look. to understand and a social okay, let, contract like marriage. Okay, let, she didn't. Okay, let me show you, me let any six-year-old. Let, let me tell you a bit about it. It's not for Muhammad. Let me tell Every you a bit about that time, they can After the night. Prophet died, most this. of the religion yeah. came from Aisha herself. She even created about seven that's, that's or eight thousand hadiths. Yes. So without Aisha in the picture, Islam wouldn't be here When today. did she narrate those hadiths? After the Prophet died. What age? No, but I'm saying she she recollected the experiences she had. So your he your died. argument is this that because when she was an adult she could tell 18, stories. 18, 18. Yeah? So when she was an adult at 18 she could tell stories. No, not stories. Yeah, but let me finish. She could tell stories that go back to her childhood. Yeah. That that means that when she was actually six she had the nine, intellect. Nine. At the she had the intellect to understand a social contract like marriage. That's your argument. I'm saying they were religious instructions. I never said story, I said religious instructions. Wait, what's your point? You're My saying point she is, was mentally incapable yes. and she was damaged from the marriage. Is that what you're I saying? I am saying that a six year old is mentally I, I incapable of a nine year old. Oh, no, no, no. Where no. was the marriage consummated? Right. Where's Narrated by Aisha that the Prophet He's married her when married. she was six. Years old. When she was six. When she was nine, because it okay, goes on to that's say. That's what we're talking about. Now, what does consummation and he consummate, mean? Yeah, it means what they had sex. Okay, so I that's when they lived together. Did they live together before that? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Exactly. No. So we're going to go from nine or ten. Right. So the point is, the point is, when she was married was when she was six. That's the hadith, Sahih al Bukhari, 7, 62 to 65. And marriage isn't formalized until there's a consummation, so it's essentially an engagement. That, that's fine. Okay, an engagement still needs two autonomous parties to agree, yes? Yes. So you are actually stood here saying that a six year old understood nine, a social nine, abstract nine, construct like nine, marriage. Nine, six, nine. It wasn't back six. then, it wasn't back then. She nine, was well aware of it. Nine. She understood it. She understood, it. She understood what she was signing nine. up for. I am trying to ask him that question in five minutes. At six. Well, yes, are are you, wait, 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 wait. A six year old talk, talk, talk. had the ability to turn around to her two parents a prophet that is uh, revered by her surrounding community and go do you know what actually i don't want to marry you no a six-year-old when they are pressured by their parents and by their surrounding culture because the hadiths do well, no. I'll read it again. What are you talking about marriage? Are you talking about marriage? So it was nine or ten? We're talking about the fact that a six-year-old could not possibly have had the mental capacity to understand something like marriage. And your entire argument to defend Muhammad having sex with a nine-year-old was that she was a fully competent, no, mental, competent that. woman. That's that. that your argument. That time My argument was, the culture. was the culture at the beginning, what did I say? You were talking about lifespan. The culture so everywhere died married with nine or ten or eleven. That doesn't in mean Europe that a six-year-old stops being six. Okay, so are you saying a six-year-old 1,400 years ago is the same as a six-year-old today? Yes. What evidence do you have to support that? The evidence of genetics. Okay, and when was that evidence produced? That in evidence. The last 50 years or so. Yes. Okay. So By how, rigorous how scientific of, testing. Okay, of people of today, not 1,400 years ago. In you, order to have a proper you, analysis, wait, wait, let me finish. In order to have a proper analysis, you need evidence and data from 1,400 years ago yep. to compare it to today. Yep. So you cannot say evidence from 50 years ago uh, tells us what people were like 1,400. Of course, not. six-year-olds don't have that ability, Why friend. Why do people saying six? We're saying nine. I'll show you because it says in the hadith. I'll read it again. Yes. And what Sahih al you, marriage isn't confirmed until there's a consummation, which, which was at nine. nine. But, but the point is, you're arguing that this is engagement. What I say to you? It would be engaged. Okay, 1,300 years after that, in this country, girls are getting married at 12 years old. 
So are you saying that while your world has the capacity to agree, but a ten-year-old doesn't? No, what I'm saying is that our understanding of child development today indicates that all of the past where we have been marrying children were wrong to do so. And here's why, brother, here's why Christianity is better than Islam. I'm going to give you an example why, using this example. Because in the Christian faith, and we have a general ethic, it's about love, it's about doing what is best for the other person. Now, what is that, that general principle is... That's on Islam, is it? That, 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 very, Islam, is it? Well, let me finish. Let me finish. That general principle is a general principle, which means that our practice of it, our performance of that, can be informed by current learning, okay, okay. by and new the, knowledge. Okay, okay. And did Muhammad but say that the best one, men are the ones that are best to their wives? Did he say that? Muhammad, you have just said, is the best example, and okay. he married a six-year-old and had sex with her what when she was talking, nine. You were talking about being good to people. Did yes. Muhammad say that the best... Yeah. Did Muhammad oh, yeah. say... At the, and then, are you going to respond or not? Did Muhammad say the, the best of men are the ones who are good to their wives? Yes or no? I'm happy to say he did. Okay. Yes. So, using that reasoning, he wouldn't have taken advantage of a small girl, which proves to me that she was a woman at the time. No, no. So your yes. argument is, your argument is that because Muhammad said that the best of people are those that are best to their wives, means that, Ma that Aisha was not a child. I would like you to convince no, me no, that no, a six-year-old is saying, not a child. No, I'm saying nine or ten. If you accept that, it's up to you. I'll read that. I'm saying nine or ten, and I'm saying at that age, okay. he must have anti. So you're uh, saying that nine-year-old or, or, or adults? Yes, she consummated at her period. Yes, but the engagement happened when she was six. Do you think a six-year-old understands the marriage? Done on behalf of her parents. That was what, that's how it happened in those days. I it agree. Those days here, the my pro no, let me be clear about what my point is, because everyone misses it. My problem isn't the fact that this happened. My problem is the fact that this man is your moral example. That's my problem. What's the, the, what's the legal age in the Bible? Six or nine. It was after her period. No, it says there. it here. Look, narrated by Aisha. I'm quoting Sahih al-Bukhari 762-64. Narrated by Aisha that the Prophet married her when she was six years old. And he, uh, why isn't it correct? Why is it not correct? Why? Do you know? Have you seen the original? What did I tell you? You've seen the original. I've read the Quran. This is an incorrect This is a hadith. It's not a Quran. All right, there you go. There you go. That's your whole. But you just said you just said you'd read the original and it was incorrect. The original word of Islam. That's it. There is anything else in interpretation? Anything else? So you are a Quran only Muslim. Quran only. That Quran is the way. Quran is what. So you don't use hadith. Given by God to us. Do you, are you a Quran on this? Do you use, use hadiths? Right, so hadiths are valid then, sources of knowledge, yeah? Well, hadiths are valid only to the extent that they can be verified. Agreed. Scholars, and Sahih and also if they don't contradict what's inside the Brilliant. So the, the, the Sahih, is that reliable or unreliable? It's deemed reliable. By it's deemed Muslim. reliable. So I'm quoting a reliable hadith. So unless you're a Quran only Muslim, the argument Okay, and what stands. did I tell you? I said a marriage is only formalized when there's consummation. Yes, at nine. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, nine or ten. Yes. Okay, but so the why agreement, did six? The agreement was made when she was six. Which means she had three years to say, I don't want to get married. A child at six years old does not understand what marriage is. Okay. And a child at six years old does not a have today, the emotional strength or the mental capability, capability to turn around to her family and her entire community and say, no, I do not want to marry this man. Okay, now we go back to what I mentioned before. Did the Prophet say that the best of men are the ones who are good to their wives? Yes. Okay, so using that reasoning, I'm going to take from her that the Prophet wouldn't have taken advantage of her. That is a that is a, a, a reasoning, but it is in in terms of this debate, it is not a defense because all you're saying is all you're, all you're, all, all you're saying all you're saying is all you're saying all you're saying, all you're saying is Muhammad himself. said, "Be good to your wives." The definition of a wife, based upon Muhammad's example, can include nine-year-olds who have had this and back then were deemed women. And, and I've told you why that and was marriage the contracts because can the be made average lifespan, the average lifespan is thirty years old. So. We can do better than this religion. We've got to follow Jesus.
can do better than this really. Okay, so the average lifespan is roughly 30 years old. So that's why women have to get married earlier, so they can raise children. Rubbish. Why? Why is that rubbish? Utter rubbish. Why is it rubbish? Utter rubbish. I accept that that's what people did. Yes. But trying to say that that is something that legitimizes as an example for today. That's my problem. But what was your point? You said this time is bad because you did it back then. No, let me state it again. The issue is not that people married kids back in the past. We've already established Christians did the same. The problem is when you try to say that this is the best example to mankind. Because a best example to mankind should not be doing something that I morally find abhorrent. Okay, is there any guidance in the Bible of what age a woman should be to get married? There's no specific age given. Okay, so if I was a Christian, I could get a one year old and marry her. My religion, a lot of Christians my religion doesn't work like yours, bro. Why? It doesn't work like yours. So how does it work? There's so, no requirement whatsoever. No, no, my no, 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 no. So under Christianity, no, a one year old like could get married. It doesn't work like that. Why? Is there, like is there any restriction in the Bible? And the, one so can married? I answer this question? So in terms of my faith, my faith is not a religion of laws like Islam. So people can right? do whatever they want. No, again, you, 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 you're rushing from one characterization to another without actually listening to any answer. It's all right, the Dawah team do it here all the time. No, because you're... Here your you go again. Your premise, you go again. Your premise was you haven't Islam even heard my premise. Yeah, your premise is Islam is inferior to Christianity. Yes, it is. Now, I say to you, how can... Christianity be better than Islam yes. when Christianity has no restrictions whatsoever. So I'm going to give an answer Islam to that does. question. But but before I give an answer to that question, and it'll only take me a minute or two, try to restrain yourself. Yeah? Try to put down your ego yeah, and listen to what I'm saying. Yeah? Okay? Because in the Christian faith, you're right, we don't have a, 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 an age given in the Bible. The Bible doesn't work like that, the Christian faith doesn't work like that. What we have is an understanding, a narrative that talks about the dignity of people, that we should love people, and that we should do the best by them. That's the general premise. Now, what it means to love people and do the best by them is current to what information you have at the time. Which means that as information increases and you have better knowledge than someone previous, you can do things better. So, my faith has the capacity to evolve its practice based upon the best learning. Okay, so you say Islam, by thinking. contrast, does not. Because you have Islam a system of laws where Muhammad is the best example, which means that rather than just doing the sensible thing and standing here and saying, no, it's wrong to marry six-year-olds and we shouldn't have sex with nine-year-olds, you've stood here for 40 minutes and tried to defend it. Okay, now let me explain. What I've gathered from what you said is, under Christianity, if you can love a baby, you can marry them. Then you didn't listen to what I did. Don't put it on me. How many hadith do you know? Only the ones I've read. Only the ones I've read? Yeah. I cannot give a fatwa unless I know over 100,000 hadith. Brilliant. And one hadith may have four chains of narration. Fantastic. Passed down. Yes. In chains. Yes. I have to know the name. Yes. I have to know the character. Brilliant. Once I can quote you one hadith, yep. then I'll go quote you 100,000 hadith yes. before I can give a fatwa. Amazing. And before I can give you a fatwa. I'm, I'm so right? impressed. Right? Yep. That's why you've got the four schools yep. that come down from generation. Yep. They used to know over 700,000 hadith. Great stuff. In London, Muhammad bin Hanbal said, you, the student, you have to know over 700,000 hadith before you can give a fact. Can I ask right? one question? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold oh, this on. is all wonderful hold information, on, but I'm not on, sure what you're getting into. The getting into, you caught in a hadith, yep. a six year old engagement, yep. you caught in a hadith yep. that she got married at night. Yes. Right. How many fatwa are they regarding this subject? No idea. No idea. Seven. Seven different fatwas. And what did they say? Right? She got married at 12, yep. and she went to the prophet's house to contact at the age of 14. 
right? The other one, she got married at 14 and she went at 16. And the other one says she's got married at 16. So basically right? your hadiths contradict who you want another and you can't agree. Right. And yet you're saying this is the perfected religion. No, hold on, hold on. They contradict, hold on. you just said it. Hold on. The fatwas contradict yes. and they're using the same but sources. Established that inside the Quran it gives... No, 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 I've got to go, but I want to no, give no, you your no, last no. point. Let so me finish the answer. Let me finish the answer. Let me, let me, let me just... Whoa, 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 I have to go and I need to... You said the hadith contradicts each other. No, it doesn't. I want to... Yeah, they do. No, it doesn't. According to your fatwa. No, it doesn't. Oh, look. Is that him? Sorry, I can't see with the light. I think he's got his scarf on. He's got his scarf on. Right, go on. I want you to have the last word because I said and then you speak uh, but then I've got to go. So okay, go based on your premise that Islam is inferior to Christianity, my response to that is Christianity is obviously inferior because there's no guidelines whatsoever on what age you can marry someone. If I was a Christian, I could marry a one-year-old. In Islam, it has a clear guidelines of uh, the female having reached menstruation. So how can you tell me that Christianity is superior to Islam? I don't understand. It. In one word answer, because the Christian faith can evolve and through that evolution and the use of the best and current knowledge of the time our practice can no, change. In, Christianity, in Islam you, can you can't do that. Oh, no, but no, I, no, 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 no. I just want to say no, it was a pleasure to talking to you. You have to know. You should don't yeah. run. Don't run. Sorry, I do have no, to. No, no, don't run. I'm running. I'm How many girls and the Asian man get taken? Okay. In this country. Do you believe, do you believe the Shia or the Hold Sunni hadith? Hold Shia on. or Sunni hadith? <laughs> You have no need to see all this conversation with you. No need to do that. You're right, Jason. That's why it stinks. That's why it stinks. That's why it stinks. Anyway, guys, I've got to go, so I'm afraid I'm going to make a point and then I'm just going to have to leave. In terms of the Christian faith, we have the ability to evolve our practice based upon the best current knowledge. Which means that what we understand to love our neighbour as ourselves changes depend upon the circumstances. But the aim is always to uplift the dignity of man that is made in the image of God through the practice of love. By contrast, Islam, Islam is a system of laws that upholds a man, Muhammad, as the best example for today. Which means, when he engaged, who would not have had the mental capacity to say no, or to understand what marriage is, and then consummated that marriage at six, that leaves Muslims in the difficult position of having to defend sex with children. Sex that we now understand would be harmful to them. And what is shameful is that we even found Muslim doctors, people with medical certificates, trying to justify this here today. It's simple, guys. If your conscience tells you that your prophet is not an example for you today, then he isn't an example for you at all. If you can't behave as Muhammad behaved now, then you don't need to behave how he behaved in any sense. Because if he's not a good example for you in everything, he's not the good example you need to follow and you need to find a better one. And that example is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless.